Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And now we're learning why Democrats, obviously, we're not learning, I guess. We now know why Democrats are, are panicking and trying to move Kamala off stage and try to hide her as much as they can, uh, leading up to the convention, not wanting her to take anything off script, uh, because people understand, at least people on the right, understand how terrible of a speaker she is. She's dumb. Uh, she doesn't ever make any sense when she's delivering her words. They don't, they're not coherent. It's like a Biden without the stutter, like I mentioned uh, on a live stream not too long ago. Uh, that is who they have now. And so they have to employ the same techniques they did with Biden back in 2020, basement Biden. Now they're going to have a hideaway Harris as they're going to try to move her away from the public eye because the video I'm about to show you is the reason why they're trying to hide her, uh, why she, they don't want her to go off script, why they don't want her to ask answer questions off the cuff because she's not good at it. She's not good at it. This is why they've employed Hollywood and in the mainstream media to, to create this persona around her that makes her uh, seem like she's intelligent, uh, that she's uh, uh, culturally relevant, that she's cool and hip and all these things, which she's none of those things. Right. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, brought to us over here from uh from X, um, by the way, of the Gateway Pundit. Let's take a listen to Kamala Harris. And look at Biden, by the way. Biden looks like a zombie. He absolutely looks terrible as well. So anyway, let's go ahead. This is just an extraordinary testament to the importance of having a president who understands the power of diplomacy and understands the strength that rests in understanding the significance of diplomacy and strengthening alliances. This is an incredible day. She said nothing. She said absolutely nothing in that. There's no substance. Not nothing substance of that, right? Not very good. I remember President Trump after a rally, after uh, RGB died, right? And he collects his thoughts. He's very sincere. And he delivers a very uh, compassionate, uh, off the cuff, compassionate uh, speech to the reporter of, or answer about RGB's death. And, and he's so compassionate, so real. That, that, that's nothing. This is, this is why Trump would, would dominate her in a, in a debate. No question. Right. This is why they have to deploy tactics like you, uh, you bigot and and you uh, you, you uh, misogynist and you 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 racist. This is why they have to deploy these turns because they know Trump is going to eat her lunch. And when he does, they're going to deploy those terms on him to try to make him seem as if he was a bully to Kamala Harris, which if you're in a political circle, you're running for president. You better be able to take shots. You better be able to have thick skin. Uh, because if you're not, you're going to get eaten up, and Trump's going to smell uh, blood in the water, and he is going to attack. He is going to attack those weak points of Kamala Harris. Uh, she is not a very good uh, person thinking on her feet. I think back to the 2020 debates uh, where Tulsi Gabbard just annihilates Kamala Harris, leaves her like stumbling and bumbling uh, after just delivering a knockout blow to her during those uh, during those debates where she had to drop out not long after that, and so for. Kamala Harris to be here showing that this is why the Democrat Party is panicking. This is why they are employing the hideaway Harris uh, technique that they used, the strategy they used with Biden and putting Biden in the basement. Anyway, you guys tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I will see you guys later.